All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we reacting to Mac Lethal, Tom McDonald is a Nazi. Uh, 2024, this. We here. So, yeah, we'll be back. Let the yeah, lyrical look. violence begin. <laughs> yeah, let the let the uh <laughs> let the violence begin, man. So um you know if you wanna want us to react to your stuff, links on the page also too. Go over the sketch pad reactions. We will be reacting over there. It's gonna be a little bit more deep and detail in depth. But here we go. Um I hope this don't turn off on us. Um this thing says uh, whatever, but I'm gonna move it for right now, and then we'll just do that later. All right, so look, man, if you want us to react to your stuff, links on the page. If you want to donate, it's right there, Cash App. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. So look, let's get right to it, man. Let's be clear about one thing: you started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> God. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic culture. All right. <clears throat> I see where he going with this. <laughs> see where he going. <laughs> I see where you're going. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Culture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth. But I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. Let me stop you there, homeboy. I never heard Tom McDonald rap about white supremacy. So I don't know if that's. I just want to be clear. I never heard Tom McDonald ever rap about white supremacy. But people have different ways and different definitions of white supremacy. You have to specify, but I'm going to let it go. Let's keep going. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me. Fine, fight contract sign. Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me? Man, are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding, ding, let's begin. You got weak skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. You're goofy as fuck. Your beats are trash. I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No, the Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuck. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh my God. Oh my. She's vaginally in. Infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you want, a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit pat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. 
gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. <laughs> Acting like you represent the blue collar working man, rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 Versace suits. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your <laughs> Fans cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. You're a fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom? Did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved your road, real indie, since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. There's a story about a boy named Tom. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. Nova, daddy, here Nova, daddy, come here girl, sit, aw oh, good girl, here's a treat, daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from, no can do told me when I'm fighting monsters don't let it make you become one, your ego's too big, it's gotta be deflated, trying to say political rap is a genre you created, you gotta be fucking kidding me, you ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy, of course you haven't, you know nothing about the culture, second amendment right guns coming up out the holster, put the pistol in your mouth, name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger, you wanna be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song you use that same dead flow your girls like emily willis a brain dead hoe i should have known that you're a damn snake the type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake call a truce declare peace on the landscape then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base on god mode trying to rap like jesus but in real life you act like judas with pussy cat like movements i feel like caesar getting stabbed by brutus but i got whiplash so drums make me smack my students the YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice That you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice And say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks When I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped Shit, yeah, we could battle on King of the Dot Your girl knows all those dudes, she's seen all their cocks We could battle up in Canada, right in your hometown I'll let you pick the city and venue, it goes down and I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you Because in hip-hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on tour with D12, those dudes are my new friends They showed me some video you made for Eminem They told me they were in the studio with Slim When he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in Eminem doesn't like you, he does not respect you You made a love song about him begging him to peg you Have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it? I'm sorry, buddy, I know that's not how you envisioned it You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom I'm at Slim Shady. You're so controversial. How are you this crazy? You want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies? And how the Mexican border is being invaded by woke Palestinians causing inflation? We'll call it White Boys Part 12. It'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that censored Candace Owens' views quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music and he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet that song was so controversial and over the edge i'm kidding nobody cares about your facts or your feelings you make music for people that storm the capitol building you make rap tunes for white trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms people that shoot ar-15s in classrooms that never heard of nas del Wu or black moon you make music for people that hate black dudes people that huff gas fumes got barbed wire tattoos People that say the N-word while playing Call of Duty People that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it 
Incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great cause he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface and instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth. But the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help. You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt. Put it round your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself. You need to put a gun to your head, then drill yourself. Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to... Alright, man. So I'll let you go first. Alright, um so for those who are confused and don't know who Mac Lethal is, Mac Lethal is a battle rapper. Uh, he used to battle on King of the Dot. He used to battle on Grind Time. That's why you heard him mention the battle rap references. He's from the uh, the old King of the Dot, the old Grind Time era. That's where he's from. Um, if y'all used to watch the videos on World Star of Grind Time Battle Rap League, you might have seen him and a few others. So he's from that era of battle rap, just before... The whole smack movement started. Just to give you a little origin story on the whole battle rap thing. But anyway, to get back to what I what I was gonna say, um I can't I, I don't know what to think of the record. I really don't. I don't know what to think of the disc record. I mean I'm like, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say. You know, um, I mean, I feel like to me personally, if I'm really going to be honest, I feel like he spent too much time talking about Nova. I mean, like, she's she's not the person that dissed you, bro. Like, it was time that, and, and I don't, and I mean, really was it even a diss? Like, he just said, you know what I mean, which you probably confirmed it. I don't know. I got to listen to the record again. You know what I'm saying? He just mentioned your personal issues, man. He just threw a light jab at you. You know what I mean? For you responding, you, you, you're you entitled to respond. But I'm just saying, like... What was the light jab? I mean, I felt like... I mean, I don't even... It, the the uh, All right, so you remember, you remember when he was like, well, nah, nah, that wasn't no light jab. That was actually... That was actually a gut shot. Nah, when he uh, remember when remember the song? I forgot what song it was, but remember when he was like he drugged the dude's corpse and he and he and he got him a divorce or whatever something like that. He said in one of his songs, Tom McDonald said that. Remember when he said that? We reacted to the song, by the way. Remember when yeah, he said he that? Said something like this corpse is heavy, dead weight. He carried around yeah. dead weight or something like that. You saw about him? That's who he was talking about, Mac Lethal. He's talking about him. So that's the, that's the, that's, I, I'm assuming that's where you refer to because that song is like maybe a few months in, few months. It's not, it's not even a year in because we reacted to that song this year. So it's like a few months in. So I'm, a, I'm thinking that's what he was referring to as far as the diss. Because I haven't heard anything else after that. But um, getting back to what I'm saying to wrap it up, uh, I just felt like he felt he spent too much time talking about Nova. If you want to diss somebody, diss him. I don't. What does Nova have to do with it, bro? Like, yeah, you know I'm saying. I mean, I know it's battle rap, so everybody, everybody's a casualty. You know what I'm saying? I get it, but. I felt like he just, he wasted like a whole verse 
on her and and it, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of it. Like, you know what I mean? It's I don't know. I just I can't. I I have to. I'm probably gonna have to listen to it again to really, you know, see what where I, where I rated at because it's I just don't know what to think of it. Is you know? So you don't have no score. I don't have no score, bro. Like, cause come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, bro, I, honest. I don't know all what right, to say, bro. Right. Like, okay, you, all right, you could, you could, right. you could straddle the fence. You want that shit was trash. It was trash, bro. I'm not. St- hold, 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 let me hold, finish, hold, hold, hold. bro. Let me finish. <laughs> no, let me finish, bro. I wasn't straddling you had your the chance fence. to talk. Let me finish. You get talk. You talked already. You ain't giving a score. I'm gonna talk. The shit is trash. It's 100% garbage. And it's a reason why. Number one, you are, I don't know, I've never seen Mac Lethal before. Never seen him. I don't know if he's white or black. I have no clue. But you sound like the he's racist white. one. Everything you said was so over the top. You make songs for white people who stormed the Capitol. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Have you, th- this is what makes me mad with people who diss people like Tom McDonald, right? First of all, for you to call him a Nazi is way off. Way disingenuous. That's way off. Secondly, what, why are we allowing people to just casually call people things? How is it that, how can you say that Tom McDonald is a Nazi when he did a video with a bunch of black people, he did a video with Dax, he did a video with a bunch of different ethnicities? How can you say he's a Nazi? Because if you're a Nazi, you're not doing music with anyone that you hate. I don't understand why people get to throw these words out casually. Secondly, what song has Tom McDonald ever said or ever did that was nazi is or white supremacy is? i never seen it. Never. And what makes me mad, what really makes me mad is you're trying to call him racist by being racist. Everything you said in that song, to me, everything you said totally contradicts you as a moral person. You're, you're talking about some, you probably hang with people. It's all conjecture. You probably talk to, or probably got people that call people the N word when people are not around. What type of bullshit is that? What type of goofy shit is that? Jay-Z probably got white guys who say nigger when he's not around. <laughs> That's just, that's so stupid to even put it on a record. You probably got people who listen to you that call people niggas behind people's back. Huh? <laughs> what, what is that? That makes no sense. You can't control what people say or people do. This is why I don't like rappers that do stuff like this. You, you're, what you're trying to do is... <clears throat> You're trying to slander Tom McDonald instead of just rapping, just being a better rapper than him. You're trying to slander him. And then on top of that, you're trying to say his girl was getting ran trains on. She used to go over Russell Simmons house and eat his ass. And what the fuck is that? What is that? What does his girl have to do with you? I understand people saying, oh, yeah, this is a battle. You should be able to go. But my thing is, you starting to name names. It's different if you just said you were your girl's a smut and she was getting ran through. But when you start naming names and then say, you probably don't know who Nas, Wu-Tang or uh, uh, name a record off of Illmatic. Like, there's a lot of rappers who don't know records off of Illmatic, homeboy. (laughs) I wish you understand that part. There's a lot of people in the hip hop game 
that don't even know any song off of Illmatic. I could guarantee you, if you ask a lot of these new rappers, name me a song off of Illmatic, they wouldn't even be able to tell you. And that's nothing against Illmatic because that's a super classic. It's just the angles that you took in this battle to me was more, it was more cringy to listen to than actually you could just had rapped and maybe had beat them in just rapping, which I don't think you could do. But to me, it's just, I don't know. This is, this is, this is horrible. It's horrible. I, I, I don't care how good you put words together and I don't care how you try to be intricate and say this. It does, that don't move me. None of that moves me. This is a certified three. I'm sorry. People could say, well, matter of fact, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. This song is trash. It's trash because it's nothing to me. It's nothing that you could say this is legit because everything I heard from Tom McDonald from all the way from his first songs when he was rapping all the way up till now. Okay. You could hit me with the whole, you want to, he wants to be American. Listen, bro. Everybody want to be American. That's why they all come in here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be clear here. And Tom McDonald's been rapping for years and you can't say that he doesn't have any number one hits because I guarantee you he got more number one hits than you. You know what I'm saying? And in the song with him and Ben Shapiro, you trying to say, oh, uh, you, you, what do you say? You rapping about people who are coming across the border from Palestine. What, what the fuck is that? I never heard Tom McDonald rap about people coming across the border from Palestine. <laughs> First of all, they can't even get, man. That was this, a reach. That, that's not even a reach. That's stupid because that's not even happening. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're just making up shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's just, I don't know. I just was like, and I'm a Tom McDonald fan. I'm just going to be clear. I'm a Tom McDonald fan. But what makes me mad is when rappers try to, because Talib Kweli tried to do the same exact shit. Is when you try to put something on somebody because you disagree with them politically. Oh, he's you a homophobic or transphobic because he actually saying that men are men and women are women. So he's homophobic for that. Huh? Since when it become you. That's become what he was saying. I thought he was trying. Go ahead. That's what he was saying. I thought he was trying. I thought he was trying to say something else, but that's probably what he was saying. Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be clear about something. I'm not straddling the fence. I just don't know what to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was cringe. It was cringe, but I don't, I don't know what to say about. It. Like, it's just like maybe you a little bit more outspoken about it than me. But for me personally, I don't know what to say about it because it's like. That to me personally, if you gonna come out with a diss record and you're going to fire shots at somebody, you know, what I mean? you know, what I mean, you don't spend time on certain things that don't make no sense. Maybe I should have just said that. You should just focus on your op. I feel like hit. I feel like the way he put everything together was just all over the place, and I I really couldn't get a just and understand of what. He what his focus was was on this record. I couldn't get the focus. All Man, I could fuck hear all that. was that shit is trash. Hear this and that. Man, fuck all that. So, shit trash. It's ass. I mean, I don't give a fuck what he do. I don't give a fuck how he try to pin it. The shit was trash. I mean, completely so, garbage. Uh, do it over, nigga. Because to me. You say he did it three times already. Yeah, do it a fourth time or a fifth time. <laughs> Cause that shit was garbage. Ain't no way in the world you're going to sit here and tell me all this, this all this filler, all this conjecture. Oh, he said he don't know Nas and Wu-Tang at least three times in a record. At least three times he said that. Like, as if my thing is like, why, why do, why do you, you say he's white? Yeah, he's, you said white. he's white. Yeah, Mac Lathan's white. Okay. I never seen him. I'm just saying. 
Why do every white yeah, rapper white. always have to run to Wu Tang as the the gatekeepers of what hip hop really is? It's like they always do that. <laughs> like what the fuck is that? Like they always do that. They always run to you don't know who Wu Tang is. You don't know who Nas is. You don't know. It's like, bro, come on. I'm sure Tom McDonald knows exactly who Nas and Wu Tang is. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, ain't no way in the world you gonna tell me that Tom McDonald don't know who Wu Tang Clan is. Actually, I think he's oh, didn't he, he mentioned them in a song before. That's what I'm saying. Like, didn't he do like some sort of freestyle off of a? Like, get the fuck out. I'm not rolling with that. Tom McDonald don't know. He don't know nothing. He didn't. One of them songs we reacted to, he talked about Nas and he said something about Nas in the song. Like, man, listen, bro. This shit was ass. Ass. Tell Mac Lethal it was ass. (laughs) You got anybody that that, tag Mac Lethal in this when you do it. Mac Lethal, delete that shit, bro, and just rap. Rap better than Tom McDonald. All this you trying to put. Oh, you white. You like white people, and and you want the white people to take over. And you white too, nigga. Fuck you talking about. You white too. You niggas crap me up with this whole trying to save, trying to save the black race. You ain't saving the black race. Who the fuck you? Oh, Tom McDonald was a. Uh, he, he he like you probably like and you got a lady in there with a MAGA hat. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Get out of here, bro. I'm not trying to hear that shit, bro. Yo, fact, you, you know what? Hold up, man. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Are you kidding me? Hey, fuck that, man. You know what I'm saying? You lost your fucking mind, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, Mac Lethal. You see that shit? Just goofy ass out of here. That shit was trash. Fuck out of here, nigga. You know what it is? It's America, nigga. We love America over here, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? We love America, nigga. We love America from the motherfucking thugs to the motherfuckers that stormed the Capitol. We love the white people. We love the black people, the Asian people. We love MAGA. We love the black uh, fucking black power, black panthers. We love all these motherfuckers. We all a part of this. From every, from every inch of America, we love America, nigga. Because that's what we are. We are melting pot. The fuck are you talking about? You sound stupid. <laughs> the fuck out of here, bro. I'm not trying to hear that, man. That shit was a fucking three, you gonna wanna nigga. You want to battle you now. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, now. bro. Please. <laughs> I would smoke that dude, bro. I would smoke him, bro. Don't put me in the middle of no battle with none of these dudes, bro. I will smoke him. You know what I'm saying? He's a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? And check my battles out. Funeral man, you know what time it is. I will smoke him, bro. But I ain't gonna do all that. I'm just gonna say the song was ass. Take it back, nigga. Make America great again. You know what it is. Scatch Pad Podcast. We out of here. Fuck